look at what I've got. Hi everyone, no chefs here. I've got today a bitter melon. There's been many videos that I cooked something for the first time. And here's another one. I was curious about this one for so long. Finally, I bought one. Super excited. It's supposed to be very healthy for you. Mainly it's known to contain something that helps regulate blood sugar. I'm going to try one raw and then make a dish with it and share all with you. So let's get started. So the two main ingredients today is meat of your choice. You can use pork if you'd like and bitter melon. This is just a steak and I know maybe that's not traditional what you could use for a stir fry. My philosophy, honestly, I'll just buy what's affordable at the time and a pretty good deal. This one was. I will marinate the whole thing, which is a half pound, but I'm just gonna use probably half. I got some sesame seed oil, regular cooking oil. I have vegetable, Shaoxing cooking wine, white pepper. Definitely will use that. Fermented bean paste. And it's got chilies in it too which is why it's not black. And because that one has chilies in it, why not add some more? I have dried chilies here. Two cloves garlic, just a little bit of ginger. Quarter of yellow onion, why not? It's all good and healthy. Cornstarch. Going to start preparing with meat first, because the longer it marinates, the better. Your board should always have a designated site for vegetable and meat. This one is for meat. So I'm just gonna trim off what I don't think I will be using here. Definitely not for these purposes. Take a look at the direction in which the grains are running this way. So we have to cut against them. Grains running this way. Cut as thinly as you can. Here's our thinly sliced meat. I'm gonna go wash the board and knife. Be right back. Keeping marinade very simple. Going in with Shaoxing cooking wine. Still have some left in this bottle. One of these caps is three quarters of a tablespoon. In other words, three tablespoon of Shaoxing cooking wine for a half pound of meat. Don't worry, I'll leave all the measurements and the ingredients in the description. No salt, no soy sauce needed because this uh, final seasoning already pretty salty. Cornstarch, no real measurement really. You have to make sure that you coat everything well enough. Now let's just mix. See that liquid in the bottom? Our goal is to make sure that all pieces are coated coat it with uh, cornstarch and there's no liquid anymore on the bottom of this pan. So the goal of this marinade is really to tenderize the meat and cornstarch is a great meat tenderizer. Shaoxing cooking wine has such a great smell, I like it. Once the bottom is dry, I'm going to go with a sprinkle of sesame oil that just to prevent meat from sticking when we cook. You don't have to use sesame seed oil, you can use regular oil, that's no problem. Add sesame oil at the very end so that the cornstarch has a chance to adhere to the meat surface and start working. I'll just set it aside. Moving on to bitter melon. Let's go ahead and take the ends off. It smells interesting, it smells really really good actually. Now let's cut in the middle. This is what it looks like. Remove seeds. Everything comes off really easy with just your hands, but you can also use a spoon. We will cut like 45 degrees in thin strips. This thin. Quarter of an inch quite beautiful I believe. Well, I absolutely have to try it, especially after watching the video of Mike Chen with his uh, partner I guess in business at the time four years ago eating a uh, challenge contest. It was quite graphic. Let's see. Wow. 
Well, okay. It's bitter, but not terrible. It's quite good. Enjoy it, actually. For the next part, let's salt the bitter melon. This is my least favorite salt, but I keep it around for purposes like this. Because I will wash it off anyway, its purpose just to draw out some of the bitterness and the juice. Just mix it around. I'll see you in about 10 minutes. I just chopped the two pieces of garlic and my video was off actually. Rookie mistake, sorry. But here it is. The ginger. Just in slices like this. Finally, the onion. I want to keep them in whole slices. I'll break them up. After 10 minutes, it looks like this. Some juice, but not much. Now we rinse. Wash away all that salt. What am I doing? I don't need that. Nice and clean. Beautiful color. And it smells, I'm telling you, it smells great. I can't really put my finger on that smell. Kind of like a fresh cut grass, I don't know. Finally, time to start cooking. I got some hot water from the tap, just to speed this up, bring this to a boil. The water is boiling, bitter melon going in. And let's just uh, blanch it for about a minute, maybe not even that. Out. And cold water. Walk back on heat. And when the bubbles start forming around the chopstick, let's shallow fry the meat. When you start seeing these beautiful colors, you're basically done. So I set meat on the paper towel. See, nice color. Clean up the wok. Back on heat. Like a tablespoon of oil, all-purpose oil. Going with the soybean paste. Like a tablespoon. Maybe a little bit more. Oil is hot enough. Chilies. Ginger. Garlic. When everything is fragrant, onions going in. Beautiful fragrance, beautiful colors here. I like onions on a little bit of a raw side. At this point, meat goes back in. White pepper. Ah, oh, that smell. Fantastic. And when everything is warmed through and looking good, start of the show. Get a melon. And all you want to do is just stir right through. This, my friends, is a beautiful thing. Super excited to try it. The meat is so tender, it's amazing. Here we go. I love it. It's delicious. 
the consistency is almost like a bell pepper stir-fried but the taste it's got this complex flavor with just a very subtle bitter taste I even taste a little bit of a hint like a stir-fried snow peas in there I don't know if it makes any sense it is truly amazing I can't believe I didn't try it before whether or not you like a bitter melon I appreciate you all the same thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video till next time I wish you nothing but the best